My name is Dan Romer, Prolisten Audio. Uh, we've been around since 2020, but in reality, we were formed in 2016, where I put together a team of five guys, myself included, all from different walks of hi-fi, and, and that's the roots of Prolisten Audio. Like a lot of guys in hi-fi, you know, as a kid, teenager, you're into music and, and you love it and you want to be a part of it some way. And uh, musician wasn't my path, but engineering was always my thing. And I knew I was going to go to engineering school and always went with an eye towards hi-fi. And so, you're, you know, you're in the DIY world and you just learn and you, and you build stuff and you see how it works and, and you catch the bug. And once you catch the bug, you're stuck. And then you're in audio the rest of your life. And that's myself, that's my partners. You're pursuing your passion, and that's what makes audio fun. That's just what makes me go every day and, and trying to come up with something new, something different, something better. And that's prolific, and it's the, it's the pursuit of that passion. I've been consulting in hi-fi for many, many years, um, and so have my partners. At different segments, different, different parts of audio, different disciplines, but all of us have been doing a lot of stuff for a lot of different companies. And why is that important is you see a lot of things. And the one thing I realized over the years is all the companies you're working for, you're filling some hole for them. And I realized that if I was gonna create a really top-notch hi-fi brand, you need to have all the parts in place to do it yourself. We have the acoustics, we have the industrial design, we have the mechanical engineering, we have the electronics, we have the software, and the manufacturing, and the marketing. So all that, you put it, that's our team. And that's what makes us stronger than so many different brands out there, because we're not missing anything. We have that. Those, and the sum of those parts are far greater than the individual. It's not a company of an individual, it's a company of you know, great audiophiles, great friends that have the same passion. What we are talking about here is an, an evolution. First of all, if you have done this for 30 years, you know, it's kind of, it's your path, right? And, uh, and when Dan and the team showed me online, the pictures, the website, the technology they have developed. I was just convinced immediately that this was me. There was no second thought. It was like instant. You know, I had to wake up my wife and say, listen, you have to look at this. And four months later, they shipped me the first pair. And when I got that into my house, it was like one of those goosebumps situation which is exactly what Perlison is all about. You know, the name Perlison, it's actually the short terms of perceptual listening experience. It's a little bit magic, but what we really want to do is we want to show people a product where you don't think so much about the product, the components, the cable. It's that situation where you lean back, maybe with a glass of wine or a glass of whiskey, close your eyes, you are just in that moment. And that is Perlis, and that's what we are all about. Passion and just the love of good audio. We've put things together in a scientific way where data measurement are just so clean that everybody understands that this is something new. And as I said before, it is kind of a little bit of an evolution in the audio business. When Perlison sat out to um, do the research on the, the DPC ray, the beam forming, all that, we had an eye towards the highest fidelity two channel. But what we realized while we were doing that was that was going to equally apply in theaters. And that's, that's the aha moment where we need to make full systems for theaters, for high performance theaters because you're gonna have the two channel people that are really appreciate that and that's their world and then you're gonna have people that want it in the theater. And that's great because that's where the Perlison product really stands out, where it can really perform well in the theater. And that's, again, that's where the THX Dominus came in, where now the performance level is like none other before. There really aren't systems out there that you can do it, Perlison's the only one. So again, if you're seeking the highest level fidelity in your theater, the Perlison and then the THX Dominus stamp of approval on top of that, that, that really just gives a clear message of, okay, I got the best stuff. We come to the market with the first THX Dominus, which is more or less setting a standard that we are in the home theater business. But on the other side, we have used our flagship speaker, the S7T, to show the two-channel market what 
audio is all about. And the S70 is today probably one of the standards among the audiophile industry. We have recently at the CDS show in Dallas introduced a whole range of custom products, in-wall speakers, ceiling speakers. So we are also going after the demanding home tier of the market or even people who just build a secondary room who wants a discreet design in their rooms. So we cater all different markets. I like to say that we are probably the best brand coming into the market in the last three decades. We have everything within the organization. I think when people come to our facility, if they come to our exhibitions, they see and they hear that it's something unique. We would like to cater to the people who understand good audio, who understand quality, but also can enjoy that moment. Again, I'm going back to our name, this perceptual listening moment where things doesn't matter. It's you and the sound. Whether it's a two channel, whether you play your record, whether you stream or whether you sit there and watch the newest Star Wars or Top Gun or whatever movie you like. That's the client we are after. There's people that really want to appreciate the finest uh, reproduction of, of music, um, the highest quality possible. So we're trying to peel the onion back and get the fidelity. I always say fidelity, fidelity, fidelity. That's what we're going after. And we're trying to push that envelope as far as we can. And that's the customer, the customer that appreciates the details that it takes to get to that point, the technical side to make that happen. And even if you think about it from the production side, how are you controlling everything in the production to make sure that that's every single speaker that comes off the line has that. So we do things in our QC and how we build. Building in-house is great, right? Because when you're building a transducer on your own, you're controlling the variation of that quite well. And then in the end, like an S series where we can we pair match them, ultimately that's the best you can offer someone is when you get a pair match set of speakers and you set them in and it's all those details that we take care of so that the end customer, the person that wants to just enjoy it, is is gonna be really happy with the result and 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 you know, they have the same pursuit. They're trying for that the best fidelity, you know, from speaker to subwoofer too.